Thank you for coming back to my channel once again. This is Joseph from Joe Concept. Here I draw up an in-depth tutorial about how to use tools in 3D motion graphics. Things you would never have thought of. So please, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more tutorials. Also hit the bell icon in order to be notified every time I drop a new tutorial. Oh, sometimes back I did, an, uh, I did a tutorial showing how to add an animation to your character from Mixamo and I got a lot of feedback from it and some of the feedback I got was what if you don't have a rig character you want to rig your character and this tutorial is just for those who are out there who are so lazy to rig just like me so I can now rig my character very easily without having to have any knowledge of how to read. So what I have in the scene is just having the character that I brought over from Marvelous Designer. This is the character I brought. I just saved that as an OBJ file and I have the material followed it. So this is what I'm going to take over to make some more and I'm going to read. Look at this character now. It's just a polygonal object. I don't have any rigged, I don't have any bone to this. So for us to do that, we'll have to go over to Mixamo. So you must have an account, like I said, have an account. So this is what I was using to do a test. So once you are logged on, this is my account, you will want to come to um, upload character. So if you come here and click on upload character, it tells you to bring up the character. These are the performance you can use to upload. So you can take a zip file or just upload the character as is. So I have my um, object here, so I can just upload this, and I can as well as to, as just zip this file and just archive it and make it a zip folder. So I'll just take this. In. So what happens if I make this a zip folder is just that it's going to take the material along with it and all that. So, so if I zip that, I have the zip file. Now. So this is just what I'm going to drag. Once I drag this over to this place, it loads and uploads this card. Um, for them. So I'm going to fast forward this while it's upload and I'm going to see how to continue on. So now you can see the so you can see the sides processing the character. So um, my upload is done. It's just processing it now for me to take it through to the reading process. So once this is done, I are going to see now we are already there. So this is now the character, and it's taking me to the auto reader for me to read my character. So it's trying to load up what I have uploaded. It's just a moment, and you can see that now. 
your connection will also determine how fast you get to have to support it. So, yeah, my country connection is a little bit slow. Alright, so you can see the object here. So, this is giving you how to navigate. You can use this to choose what, and we just click on this. This takes it, flips it horizontal, and this allows you to rotate. Alright? Okay. So once you're done with that, just go to next. Once you go to next, it brings you over to this, and you can already see what you have in there. So this is just like a um, preview to whatever you want. So you see where the ch chain is going to be. So just drag this and take it over to the chain, and it, go to the next one. This is the wrist. So take it to the wrist. Yeah. And I'm going to mark that here. Yeah. Then it does the other ones. Just, that just, so you take this to the elbow and you continue with that. This goes to the knee and this goes to the brow. So once you are done with that, the next thing you're just going to do is click on next. So once you click that, it auto reaches this and takes it over to your animation timeline then you see it's having an animation set all right so you can see that my character is now ripped and I now have an animation to it. So what I'm going to do is, if you want to add an animation to it, just go to next, then it brings you over to this place, then you can add an animation to your character, all right? So it's going to load this character here. So if you feel you want to add an animation to it, you can just add an animation to it to look for an animation. But we looked at that in the other tutorial, so if you do that, I'm going to put the link into the description so you can get that. But if you don't want an animation, you just want this object to be rigged, then you finish up the rigging in the 3D software, then you can just download this animation as this. Then it goes with the normal post that you have, which is the T post. So with this object here, I can just go to download. Once I download, it's going to give me a T post. Alright, or you can go to the original post. So if you don't want a tip, you can go to original post and just download. Just go back, 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 Once back, you are back. done downloading, you are going to, are going to go over to some of and see what I said. So the, the avatar is downloading now. So I'll post this on the back. Alright, the object has been downloaded. So the next thing is just to open this, then you go over to Cinema 4D and create this thing. So if I go to Cinema 4D, create a new file. And let's bring this over to Cinema 4D. So if I drag this here and just click OK, you are going to see that the character now has bones. Uh, you can see it, or you can already see it. Here. So you have the character here, and this is good. And don't mind it, what this is what uh, makes them always do. So just turn it. To do so but then what we actually need is just the link and the bone so you can see we have this and we have the skin to this so that is how you take your object to Luxembo and link and then so for us to do that we can just copy this part here yeah? so you can already see we can just copy all this information around it. copy this control C Take it over to the other file, which is this, then Ctrl V and paste this in. So once we are done pasting this, we take this as a child of this. Then if you look into this, then you have to scan the default. Okay. So now that is done. That's just everything. Check here now and go to the phone. You can see what happens. If you click on this and move, Sorry. all right. So I realized that that didn't work because if you check and go over to the first file, 
there, there is a weight target that has all the bones bound to this character. Then also I tried doing the same thing by just copying all these bones and put, creating a weight tag by just selecting and going to tag, character tag, then weight tag. Still didn't work. But I noticed what happened was just what happened, what the solution is just to delete this skin tag, then control click on this plus to show all the bones, have all the bones, then middle mouse to click this. Once you use the mouse click the top most uh, bone in the area, then select the children. Then hold down control and select this object. Once you have everything selected, you go to your character, command, and find. Once you do that, that should solve the problem. So let's move the this to the bound then try and move the bone and see what happens. So it's trying to bind the bone to the skin. Then if we go out and try and look at the leg now, this is the spine and this is the leg. So we want this leg. So if I go to this now and notice now bound to your character so that's how you auto rig your character without having to have any knowledge of how to rig your character and the thing is it rigs it even up to the finger so you can go to the finger and check that and everything is rigged and bound so you can just work on all that all right so i think i'm going to end the tutorial here and if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. So, do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.